In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. Carlin's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. wants to pass you. Again, your teammate wants to pass you. I know you don't want to drop a position, but without your turbo, he's the best one to challenge for points further up the field. If you hold Lucas up, you could be denying the team points.
Okay, some people are going to want to talk to you after this. Not letting Lucas past has potentially denied the team valuable points. For now, race on, do the best you can. over. Take care of the car on the way in. It's been coming for a while, this one. What an excellent win for Dams. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what was them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to enter. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. Dams, another team with a huge amount of history based right in the heart of motorsport near Le Mans in France, have once again shown their formidable abilities out on the track with yet another win today.
And now, let's take a look at the driver's stack. It's a good result for Devin Butler, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? My driver of the day was Alessio Lorardi. He did a cracking job of moving through the field, just showing why he's so highly rating in the park. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. Dams move to the top of the table. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? I want to ask, why didn't you let Lucas pass when your team told you to? Great, well that's everything. No, not now. Next time the team give you an instruction, follow it. It is not a request. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, am I, am I interrupting? I can leave, or uh, actually no, continue. Please. Can we help you with something? Oh, it was just uh, you were the better driver. Yeah, from my car it seemed like you deserved the win. Okay, congratulations. But the team gave you an order. You could have jeopardized it for both of us. You know, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you really don't have what it takes to be a champion. Lucas uh, likes to talk a good game about the whole uh, team thing. But the fact is, if you're in the same situation, do you really think he'd let you pass? I would. See the hesitation? Anyway, it doesn't matter who wins. Next season, I'll be spending my Sunday afternoons atop the F1 podium, while you two will be teaching kids to drive go-karts. Good luck, yeah? <sighs> Look, I understand why you did it. Do you really think an F1 team will allow you to just drive however you want? Come on. Look at them go! 
Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Don't give up. You're still in this race.
Devon, five places separate you. is up on you. Here they are then, coming into Park Ferme. What an excellent win for the Dams team. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. Absolutely, congratulations, are in order here. That was a spectacular race and a fantastic drive for our win. I think, though, that after the race, there's going to be a lot of eyes on Devon Butter regarding that collision. He's been very lucky today, in more than one way. Lucky to have broken away, lucky to have only received a penalty. It's a shame his rival wasn't equally lucky. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance, and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Dams are your winners today.
So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And so, Driver of the Day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Let's give it to Antonio Fuoco. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. And now a look at the team standings. Dams move further ahead at the top of the standings. There is also a strong showing from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. It seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Appreciate your time. Hey, Devon. Devon, stop. Not now, I'm busy. Hey. What are you doing out there? Seriously. I'm gonna celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. Yeah, and I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No! Someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happens, okay? To my penalty, it focused, kept it smooth, and came out on top. That's racing. I need to grow up with you every time I make a tough move. Do you want to play race director? Then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track, and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, you still couldn't beat me, even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end anyway. Chin up! So here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship, and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned the champion. I can't wait. Okay, this is it. Last race of the season. All we have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. 
No pressure then. Good luck.
changes to the weather today. Dry throughout. Dry seem like the best tyre for now.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. questions at the start of the season as to whether they could really go all the way but there's no question anymore what a special year it's been and here they are the new formula 2 world drivers champion so as they climb out of the car the carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. Yet it all. The rival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head-to-head -head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship. But today, the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. They fought so hard and had the incredible pace at times. So I don't think anyone did a better job today. So then, Carlin have done it. This result seals their victory, and they are team champions at last. There is also a strong showing from the Russian time team today as they make their way up the standings. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. First of all, congratulations, you must be thrilled. Wow, you're the driver's champion. How does it feel? So that was a thrilling end to the season. How was the race for you? Wow, we've been hearing rumors of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment?
Appreciate your time. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it will ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Hey, we know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. It's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to weapon. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. So you're gonna have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're going to be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is, choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Ah, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat.
excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. McLaren are one of the most successful teams in the sport, and they've reinvented themselves over the past few years. They demand excellence from all areas of their organization, and they'll expect you to integrate yourself and get up to speed from the first race. Winning rivalries is a great way to earn respect from your team and around the paddock, which will help make it easier to negotiate favorable contracts. Your first rival is always your teammate, but you can choose who to declare as your second. The harder the rival from the eligible selection, the more respect you stand to gain or lose depending on the result. think of this one?
Welcome to Melbourne and the inaugural event of the F1 2019 Championship season. The session is starting shortly and there's a real sense of anticipation in the air. A feeling that anything can happen this year and if it does, well this weekend could be the opening chapter to one of the most exciting F1 seasons ever. Joining me in the commentary box is, of course, Anthony Davidson. And it's great to have you back again. What can you tell us about this year's roster? Uh, there are some new faces this year, aren't there? Absolutely, Crofty. There's been a number of interesting signings over the last few months. Where would you like to start? Let's talk about what. Right, well, this is definitely someone to keep an eye on. They'll be familiar to anyone who follows the Formula 2 Championship, where they performed extremely well last year. It's worth noting that their teammate in F2, Lucas Weber, is also making his debut in Formula 1 this weekend. Now, there was an incident where they went against their own team's instructions to let Lucas pass. They apologised for it at the time, and it seemed as though there were no hard feelings. But it'll be interesting to see what kind of rivalry might develop now they're no longer constrained by driving for the same team. Those two aren't the only new faces from Formula 2 this season, are they? No, this season will introduce fans to George Russell and Lando Norris, two very promising young British drivers. Plus, we'll meet Alexander Albon from Thailand and finally Devon Butler. Now, Devon was a bit of a controversial figure in Formula 2 last year. He racked up a lot of penalties over the course of the season, including one where he collided with his closest rival. It was an arsy clip. Now, certainly after the event, they were nothing but professional in terms of how they spoke about the incident with Devon, but it's hard to imagine them being as polite about it behind closed doors. I think this rival will be one to keep an eye on over the next few races as both drivers take their first steps into the world of Formula 1. This first race of the season is always quite difficult for us trackside and for those back at the factory as well as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. During your F1 career, you'll be able to utilise these sessions to complete practice programmes which will help you learn the track and earn new points that can be invested in developing your car. You'll also be able to adjust your car setup over the course of these sessions to try and find those extra fractions of a second. The sporting regulations dictate that after each free practice session, you'll have to hand back two sets of your dry tyre allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. Let's get a few laps under our belt.
Okay, your goal is to get through as many corner gates as quickly and precisely as possible. Best of luck out there. Approaching the DRS zone, watch your MFD for the activation point.
that's the program complete. This is some decent data, although far from optimal. It could still be worth running again. Expect a lot of understeer unless we replace it. Car repairs have set us back a little. Our best lap so far is a 1 minute 38.5. Okay, here's something to remember about this circuit. The most important braking zone is probably the penultimate corner, T15. It's a very tight left-hander. You will understeer if you take liberties with it, so be careful.